Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify uh, this radical expression by rationalizing the denominator. Now, it is important to understand that our um, rules of radicals allows us that if we're taking the square root of a rational number, we can break that up into the square root of a over the square root of b. And that really goes through any power, any root that you're going to be taking. So therefore, a lot of times this helps us to rewrite this. So therefore, I can rewrite this as the square root of 7x divided by the square root of 10y cubed. Now, to, um, to simplify this even further, a lot of times you want to see, you know, can we always simplify this? And yeah, we can simplify this radical. We can break this up into the square root of 7x divided by, I can take the square root of y squared, because I can break that up into y times y times y, where I can now group a pair of y's. And therefore, I can take that out, which is just going to be left with y times the square root of y. 10 will still be under there. So I'm left with y times the square root of 10y. All right. Um, so now I, so I simplified the y cubed into y times square root of y, and the 10 had to be down there. Now I need to get rid of the square root of 10y. So to do that, I need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the square root of 10y on the top and the bottom. And as long as I multiply on the top and the bottom, I am going to produce an equivalent fraction. So I'm not going to be changing the answer. But what's important about this is the square root of any number multiplied by itself, for instance, just you know, the square root of x times the square root of x equals the square root of x times x, which is the same thing that we have here. a times the square root of b is equal to the square root of a times b. Well, since these numbers are the same, I can pair them up and take the square root of a pair of numbers, which is just going to equal x. So therefore, here, um, my denominator is just going to be um, the square root is just going to be 10, 10y. Then over here, I can multiply my uh, two terms inside my, I can multiply my two terms under each radical. So therefore, I have 7 times 10, which is going to be 70. x times y is just going to be xy. And then my denominator, this, my two square roots, um, you cancel out, and I'm just left with, oh, this, no, geez, oh, man. So the square, so what this becomes is y equals the square root of 10 squared y squared, which is just equal to 10y. So therefore, 10y times y is going to be 10y squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your radical expression. Thanks.